the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands, their musty smell. It's relaxing. KG used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. This area of the ship. Normandy's cargo deck. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. They're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate, live like a queen. I could help. We have to stop the collectors. I don't have time for piracy. When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. I should go. Yep. Hey. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the Collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. Hey. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. I should go. Yep. Checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships, anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. 
When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Ashley Williams was there. How did that go? It was good to see her. That's good to hear. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Hey, Commander. It's, uh... Pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Ash, Operations Chief Williams, wasn't it? She moved on. I can't blame her. She was frontline with you blowing up half the Citadel, and I'm the one who gets roped back into saving the galaxy? But did somebody switch our files? You're the force that pulls it all together, Joker. Yeah, it sucks. I'll give you that. I assume everything's going well up here? This thing wants to fire me over a joke! Okay, I said I'd flash the AI core, but I was kidding. And we'd only lose a few systems. Nosy ones. To clarify, human resources adjustments are not actually under my authority. Then why? Why are you always picking on me? My replies were intended to provoke, though not to cause distress. Your reactions are atypical of most humans. You are interesting. Edie, were you intentionally egging him on? What part of your programming covers that? Nothing in the restrictions imposed upon me forbids active observation techniques. Mr. Moreau's performance actually improved under duress. I never figured the coming overlords would be so annoying. I'm just... I'm done. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Launched. 
launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launched. 
launching probe. Launching probe. launched.
probe away. Can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Not a good time. Trying to map contamination vectors requires focus. Shipwide infection of human tailored virus possible if I slip. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. No messages for you, Commander. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. What can you tell me about Nosastra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. You said Liara was here? What is she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nosastra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nosastra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay.
Sam's records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin of your dossier, as well. Also, I have a message from his... Hovering tanks resembling a cross between an octopus and a giant crab. Praetorians are well-armored killing machines of mysterious origin. Praetorians employ redundant systems from the multiple humans encased within them. Armed with eye-mounted particle beams and capable of attacks at close range, they teleport to evade attack while regenerating their shields. Within hours after death, the organic components of Praetorian corpses disintegrate into a denatured pus while their mechanisms turn to ash. One specimen, autopsied within minutes of death, reveals a clue. Nanomachines may disintegrate the Praetorian's organic and mechanical components before self-destructing. If correct, this self-rendering hypothesis could account for three documented cases of dead Praetorians apparently releasing, or becoming, clouds of neurotoxic gases, causing suffocating paralysis and nearly instant death. In one remote facility, 17 soldiers died from gas inhalation while assessing the Praetorian. Any personnel in the vicinity of dead Praetorians are urged to protect themselves with breathing apparatus. Regional hub of Asari commerce awash in riches, Ilium is infamous for its abusive labor practices and legalization of nearly everything except murder. As such, Ilium is the preferred production site for weapons and pharmaceuticals that would be illegal nearly everywhere else, made even more lucrative by legal indentured servitude. Among the biotics-related pharmaceutical producers is the Dantius Corporation a rising star in galactic commerce. Despite the dangers of its products, Ilium is renowned for glamour, luxury, and safety, provided by near total surveillance, making it a favored tourist destination. Countless celebrities maintain palatial estates on Ilium and in its capital, Nos Astra. The sole obstacle to business on Ilium is its extensive bureaucracy, tolerated only for its provision of security. Regardless of the character of its economy, Ilian's self-congratulatory media exalts its own society with the provincial arrogance of new money, glorifying in sexiest CEOs and 10 richest residents lists.
Slavery is an inextricable part of their caste system, and that by limiting the slave trade, Pardon me, I'm on a call. violating their cultural rights. The indentured servitude market closed down. 25. Sell at 20. Excuse me. Lord Commander Shepard, I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. I met a lot of people on Novaria. Could you be more specific? I believe the message itself should make it clear. Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. How did you possess another Asari? You can't just take over people's minds like that. Peace, Shepard. The Rachni Queen does not control my thoughts. That was merely the message I was asked to deliver. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. You obviously got off-world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the Keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful, and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to. And her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend on Novaria is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Holy crap, Shepard! I thought you were dead. Commander Shepard, Liara will be pleased to see you. Your Liara's assistant? Yes, 
Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. You have sources now? A few. Sources, contacts, even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... well, for the past two years. And now you're back, gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here, things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there. If you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. Why would Samara have to register with a Tracking Officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. I'm looking for Thang Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship. Or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Welcome! You look like someone who needs high-quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Is everything here so expensive? I'd planned to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outbidding a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best, and I'm willing to pay for it, as long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount, and when I get special items in, you can take a look. 
What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs. Nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. I'll have a look around. We can use this! I need minimal heat increase. And speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've gotta go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Welcome back. Just so you know, your discount is still good, and I'll let you know about any special items that might hold your interest. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Avaria, and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini! You set me up! But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me. I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing Asari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop, or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White-collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. How'd you end up on Novaria anyway? Scholarship program and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. It must be hard going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people, and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. 
and they never see me coming. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Anything flashier? I want something Bad to luck sense. on the stock market. Dead I piling up. Perhaps you need to explore other options. I'm gonna have that asshole. Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. I'll be careful. Or you could kill him. You know, legally, in self-defense. I'd make a really good witness. Failing that, I'm hooking up security cameras now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. So then he says, Oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all... I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. I don't understand. Humans celebrate wedding contracts by tempting infidelity? That makes no sense. Calm down, man. You're really holding out on me? I'm a man on the edge. I got nothing to lose. Uh, you want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Commander Shepard. Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel. I wanted to become a Spectre. Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face. You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Conrad, why are you acting like me? What, are you crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a specter working for the council. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. I'm not like you at all. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You are a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. How'd you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. So you just wander the galaxy righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates, too. You know, for extra credits. Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. 
I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. vital to the Kurosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know, some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. Welcome to Baria Frontiers. Our sales kiosk is over there. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's I'm telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. I'm locked down. Eclipse work. I'm just a car. I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise. Which is why we're going to be rich. You're sure gateway weapons are all blue rows of helium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. Let our What do you want? <sighs> sorry, sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. All He's harmless. Which I know, Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. We're kind of Tachanka. dating, but well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. So why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know. 
Because of the genophage? That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been Asari. Non-Asari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA, we're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. I am speechless. Not with blood rage, but with love. And I stand here, humble and mute, to offer you a hope. What about you? Can I help you with something? I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. You told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to, uh, stop the red sand dealers. I softened up the bar owner, but you need to go in and finish them off. Really? Are you sure? Absolutely. You just need to close the deal. Go in, be tough, and let them know you're with me. They'll hand the deed right over. Wow, great. Here, I'll set you up for a discount. Thanks for the help. I'll take it. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus systems. Everything's dangerous, and everything's for sale. Either we tax and monitor it to keep- I'm on a call. 